Hey guys, how you doing? I'm John Wiener here today with Steve Harvey. Steve, how are you? Good, man, good. Still good from take one. Awesome. First, first time at Villanova. So yeah. This is pretty big, man. Yeah. It's a fun place. Yeah. So you did stand up for 27 years. Yeah. We're kind of wondering what comedy means to you. I mean, um, it's been such a huge part of my life. You know, I retired from stand up uh, August 15, 2012, you know, to change my direction and go in other ways. But comedy is the core basis of everything I do. You know, I'll use it tonight when I speak. Even though I'm here in a motivational capacity, of course, the comedy is going to come through. When I give people advice, you know, uh, comedy has been a wonderful gift of mine. You know, it's been. Um, it's afforded me an incredible lifestyle. It's at the core of everything that I do, whether it's my nationally syndicated radio show, whether it's my talk show daytime, whether it's family feud syndicated, celebrity family feud, it doesn't matter. The comedy has been at the forefront of everything. So like in essence, if you peel this the skin back on this banana, you know it's a lot of jokes back there, <laughs> you know. So speaking of Family Feud, the ratings have skyrocketed since you took over. Yeah. What do you attribute that to? What do you think you bring to the show that wasn't there before? Well, one of the things is my specialty is the common man. You know, my specialty is talking to regular people and understanding them. And I'm very, very quick-witted. That's my skill set. I'm very, very quick on my feet. Yeah. So. I can, I think that people are more interesting than the answers. They did a study. In the 30 minute show of Family Feud, the actual question and answers last 90 seconds. The rest of it is me talking to people, making people have a good time, you know, cheering for the underdog, laughing at people's habits and things that they say. So I think the realness, I think my ability to speak for the audience at home. All I'm doing with my facial expressions and my comments, I'm just saying what every, all of y'all at the house are thinking when they give these answers that don't make no sense at all. You know what I'm saying? I just go, I just say what everybody at the house is thinking. They didn't think that, were gonna, that would work when I first did the show. They said, well, you can't make fun of what the people are saying. I said, well, hell, I didn't say it. They did. What you want me to do? And so I think that's been a big part of the success. Yeah. Well, we've seen you on Family Feud a few times on S Saturday Night Live, though. What do you think of Kenan Thompson's impression of you? Well, Kenan Thompson needs me. <laughs> He's just a chubby little dude without me, and he knows that. Kenan knows that. I've yeah. told him. I'm going to punch him in his face soon as I see him. One day. Yeah, but he's he's out of there now. He's gone from Saturday Night Live, so yeah. can't make a career imitating anybody. So Not you know, anymore. I mean, he's a great guy. Though. You know, I've known him for years. When he was just Keenan Kale, I s still didn't know his name. Every time I see him, I call him Keenan Kale because I never knew the person. When even when we were young kids on the Steve Harvey show, so I mean, it's cool. You know, I I don't care what he says. You know, yeah. it's cool. You know, it's it's, it's in good spirit. You know, uh, I I. Ha I haven't made a career of uh, pronouncing words and remembering people's names. I don't have to. Right. I'm funny. <laughs> so let's go. And my last question. I know on your show on NBC you like to give a lot of relationship advice. I'm a 21-year-old single male, and I can't find love. Well, what do you got for me? You ain't really looking for it, though. I'm looking for it. No, though. you're not. No, I'm you're not. not. No, you're not. You are, you are living the life, pal. You are loving every minute of it. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Well, <laughs> uh, I'm telling you what it means. That means you're not looking for love. Well, you could be. You could be looking for love. But here's the deal. At 21, until you discover really who you are, Men need to discover three things, who we are, what we do, and how much we make. Until you get that solved, you're not going to really be too good for anybody. So you're going to live your life, and you're going to grow. And you are looking for love, and, and, but you don't mind looking. That's yeah. the problem. So keep an open mind. That's where you want to put it? OK, great. You're All a winner. Right. You're a kid, yeah. Oh yeah, keep an open mind. T tell that to them girls when they find out there's another one somewhere. Yeah, oh, yeah tell her to keep an open mind. Yeah, see how that works out for you. Get your dorm room burnt down. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, well, that's all the time we yeah, have. That's awesome. Yeah. Steve, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Don't and, leave me and, hanging here. Yeah, and we leave on Get Your Dorm Room Burnt Down. <laughs> that's it. All right, thank thanks you very. a lot for talking <laughs> to us. you have any suggestions for recipes, quote, f*** the Monday, end quote.